what's happening so I'm gonna break down my uh, float out here everybody can have a look at it let me know what you think I'm missing a couple components right now but I'm just gonna uh, run through what I got so I'm starting out with these uh, black diamond core candle trekking poles I got the uh, rubber tips on them I had the uh, carbide tips but I've been sliding around a lot on the rocks so I picked up a couple of those uh, my pack is the Osprey Atmos AG65. I don't have the brain on it. Um, it was hitting me in the back of the head. I don't really need it. Uh, a lot of people are telling me I've got a pack that's a little bit too big, uh, but I like it so far. I'm super comfortable. I um, like how it sits off my back. It's got the mesh screen, so uh, really, really cool and comfy. It hasn't been super hot since I got it, but I'm not sweating a lot, so uh, I'm just going to break everything down. I got a as far as my luxury items, I got a set of uh, wireless Bluetooth headphones, so uh, I can listen to music when I'm running around. Because they're wireless, I'm going to keep my phone in here and record with it now, but this is just uh, a cheap Ozark Trail um, waterproof pouch. Um, stuck it down in the sink with some water, didn't leak, so I think I'll be good with that. I picked up uh, an Equinox add-on pouch here just to carry some snacks and stuff. One thing about the Ostrich pack I didn't like is the... The pockets on the hip belt are a little bit tight, so I pretty much got to unhook the hip belt if I want to get something out of here. Uh, whenever it's wrapped around me, it's real hard to, to reach in, reach into it. So I've um, got my hand sanitizer here. Uh, I'm keeping my tent stakes and my uh, tent poles strapped to the outside. Using one of my side pockets here. So there's my tent poles. I've got my tent stake pouch here. Now I've got some white tape around this. And that's because uh, I did a little section hike a while back in Grayson Highlands and I spent about an hour after dark looking for my tent pegs because they're brown, they blend in really good with the ground. So wrap them up with some white tape and they're just seated inside this little uh, aluminum S-bit cup. That's what I'm using for my coffee. Uh, I don't want to drink coffee out of my stove, out of my, my pot while I'm trying to cook in it. So it's going to be my coffee mug. I'm uh, probably going to tie these guys to the outside a little later on. But I got a couple of dog slippers. They're kind of like a, kind of like Crocs, but they got a Velcro strap across the top. Really comfortable. I've been wearing them around a little bit. But that's my uh, Creek Crossing shoes, and I'll probably switch to those in camp. Let my other shoes air out a little bit. So I've got my tent strapped to the back here. This might move a little later on. Right now I'm carrying it at the base of my pack. I'm kind of worried about it getting caught up in some thorns, but. This is my best idea right now. I'll probably end up moving it inside the pack once I figure out what kind of junk I got I don't need and make a little bit more room. Um, on the bottom here, I've got my, my sleeping bag uh, access, uh, but I'll pull that out last. So let's have a look inside. I'm just going to pull it out from the top down. Uh, again, I don't have the brain, but I've got some pretty good coverage. If it starts raining or something, I do have a... Uh, I do have a, a rain, rain cover, so I'm going to start with my toiletries pouch. In here I've got my uh, Sawyer filter, I'm going with the Sawyer squeeze. I had the Sawyer mini a little while back and I used it for a couple hikes, but the squeeze, it's like $5 more, they got them in Walmart, and uh, it flows really fast, so um, I can fill up a couple liter bottles in about 30 seconds. I've got a black back flow syringe here. In case it gets clogged up, it hasn't been clogged yet, but I usually back flush it uh, at the end of every couple days. We got some deodorant. No, just kidding. This is Body Glide. Keep everything from rubbing. Start from rubbing together. Uh, I've got my toiletry bag here. Roll toilet paper, baby wipes, the whole mess. And then I've got my uh, little hygiene pouch. This, I got my sawed off toothbrush in there, a little pack of toothpaste, some dental floss and a couple extra baggies. Um, on my other side here, this is what I'm gonna need access to a little more often. I got my spoon in here just because it fits a little easier. That's the uh, uh, Sea to Summit aluminum uh, spork. It's really long, it's good for reaching down in the pot and if I cook in a bag, I don't have to get my hands nasty reaching down in there. I have the um, the Black Diamond Revolt headlamp. This thing is pretty sweet, it's pretty bright. Um, it stays charged forever. I've only charged it one time since I've had it. Uh, I want to say that you can run it 80 hours, 100 hours on low. Uh, of course, I haven't done that yet, but it's got a couple different modes. 
It's got a like a high, a low. It's got the red lights from around camp and a couple of, uh, of the little LEDs on the side that aren't quite as bright. Um, I got this off of Mass Drop. This is a Luminade um, Pack Light 16. It's a solar chargeable light. I got a carabiner on here because I hang it up at the tent at night so I don't have to uh, mess around in the dark. Uh, pretty sweet because it blows up with a couple breaths. And uh, you can't see it obviously because it's, it's daylight out. But Some people use these as pillows. I don't. I just use it as a lamp. Um, got a toggle in here, a couple different modes. And um, works really good for lighting up the inside of the tent. If I want to get dressed read a book, whatever, plenty of light for that. Uh, this is my rain, uh, rain, rain cover for the pack. It's an Osprey, just because it's even appropriate, same color. Um, but this is going to keep me kind of dry. I am going to put everything inside my bag, inside of a contractor trash bag or a, uh, a really thick uh, garbage bag just to keep everything dry if my pack does get wet. But if I'm not getting poured on, this uh, pack cover just stretches down over like this. And it uh, does hook to the uh, shoulder strap, so it stays on really well. And uh, it does the job as long as I'm not getting soaked. I've got my gloves in here. may not need those, but I'm starting out uh, on Springer with gloves. Carry them all the way, I guess. Got a trowel. A lot of people say I don't need this. I used a tent stake for a while. It takes a long time to dig a six-inch hole with a piece of wood or a tent stake, so that makes it a lot easier. Um, let's go down inside the bag now. See what other kind of junk I got in here. I'm just going to go from the top down. Uh, got a pretty good loadout. It's pretty balanced. A lot of a lot of the weights right behind my back, so it's not bouncing around on me a lot. Uh, was having trouble at first just because I didn't know how to pack the pack properly. Uh, I've got my AT uh, 2016 Northbound Guide here from uh, AWOL. I've got a digital copy of that on my phone, but uh, it's nice to have it in your hands. This is one of my luxury items. Uh, I met a thru hiker a couple weeks ago that told me I should probably ditch it. Um, it's a real lightweight pillow I got from Wiggies. I got another an, a Wiggy sleeping bag I was using on a few hikes. Came with this and a stuff sack. Um, it's real bulky, but it's really lightweight. It's really comfortable. I tried sleeping on a uh, stuff sack with my jacket in it, but I really like that guy. And another reason I'm going to take it is because it weighs less than half a pound, and it uh, it kind of keeps everything in my pack from moving around too much. I just stick it on top here. Like I said, it's not very heavy. Keeps everything in place. Um, so in the middle here, I've got just uh, kind of my emergency stuff sack. This has my rain gear. I've got the Frog Togs rain gear. I'll show you the jacket here. I don't want to pull everything out, but uh, you can get these at Walmart for $20. This is a brown set, so uh, it blends in a little bit. Maybe should have got a brighter color, but this keeps me from getting soaked. I've worn this in a downpour, and uh, the only thing that got wet was my back uh, uh, where where the uh, pack met and uh, in my feet. So, I mean, this thing kept me nice and dry. Again, it's 20 bucks. It's pretty thin. Uh, it does have a couple little tears on it already from thorns and, and bushes, but I can throw a little bit of duct tape on that, and it's gonna keep me just as dry as a $150 jacket. There's a pair of pants in here too to match it. Um, just an elastic waist, but I'm not gonna worry about pulling those out. I'm gonna keep that on top, and uh, I've also got uh, some clothing sacks down the bottom, but my other uh, easy access clothing item is my Nano Puff. It's a uh, Patagonia, it's synthetic, packs down this size, uh, makes a decent pillow, and it packs into itself. So when I pull it out, I've got this uh, nice and bright Nano Puff jacket. Keeps me really warm whenever I'm uh, whenever I'm at camp. I usually get too hot if I'm walking around with it, um, but this should keep me warm. We're running into some cold weather. And right beside that, I've got my stove. Uh, check out my channel. I'm going to upload a, uh, a boil test with this stove whenever I was shopping stoves. Um, there's a couple other ones that I'd like to have because they're more packable, but this is a, a great stove so far, and I couldn't find very many videos, so look on my channel. Going to have a boil test there so we can see how good it boils water. Um, stove, I'm keeping it inside the bulky uh, case it came with just because uh, it's keeping the sharp edges from poking into stuff and it's going to keep uh, keep my stove from getting dirty. But this is the um, Oli Camp Vector stove. 
and uh, whenever I got the stove, I got it because it came coupled with this Oli Camp pot for about 45 bucks on Amazon. Pretty pretty cheap. So the uh, Oli Camp pot uh, looks like it's called the XTS. Um, the XTS because it has the uh, little heat reflector thing, the jigger on the bottom here. Uh, kind of keeps the flame. Uh, keeps your, your heat from dissipating too much when the flame shoots up the middle here so it heats the pot up more evenly and pretty fast you can get a boil in a couple minutes and then uh, it's got the rubbery lid that comes with it keep that on while you're boiling I got a couple lighters here um, a couple weeks ago I went on a section hike didn't bring a lighter that sucked so now I got a couple lighters and uh, some waterproof matches I got the end off of a little uh, Walmart spatula. This works really good for cleaning the pot out. I can swipe the edges, get all the sauce and junk out. Really don't have to wash the pot. Just lick it clean, rinse it out. Um, this is my Primus uh, fuel canister stabilizer, I guess. My fuel canister is just going to snap into this, put my stove right on the top, and then my pot on top of that. Everything's nice and stable. Works really well. I was using alcohol stoves a while back probably going to stick with this for a long time. We really like how easy it is. Alright, so we're getting down to the bottom of the pack here. Another luxury item. So uh, don't get too wild with the comments. This is a 16,000 milliamp uh, battery bank. So this is going to give me power for my phone. Uh, also for my Bluetooth headphones. And I can also use this to recharge the, uh, the Revolt headlamp. Um, this does take batteries, but primarily I'm just using my uh, battery bank to charge it. Uh, I can charge everything a few times off of this. Charge my phone about five or six times, plus a charge for the uh, the, uh, the headlamp and the uh, Bluetooth headphones. So it's nice to have it. I've also got a couple tips in here for my trekking poles, a couple AA batteries, extra set of uh, shoelaces, because it sucks when your shoelaces break and you got to walk out of the woods, and a few more baggies. Uh, All together, this weighs less than a pound. Um, that's a lot of weight, but I, it's going to make everything a lot more enjoyable, and I got a lot of backups in there. And this is my uh, camp clothing bag, so I'm going to take two changes of clothes. Uh, I'm going to take uh, a poly shirt that I don't have. It's in the wash, so just a lightweight Adidas poly. And um, in addition to that, I've got, actually this is my emergency bag. So this is my fleece, vented fleece. I picked this up at the Goodwill. Vented sleeves so I don't get real hot and sweaty, but I can put this on as my first layer before I go to the Nano Puff and uh, in my beanie. So this should be towards the top of my bag. And then I've got another clothing bag in here that has my camp clothing. Uh, before I get to the clothing bag, on top of my clothes, because I'm going to pull those out last, I've got my empty day food sack. So this is my food for today. Uh, right now it's empty because I'm not carrying food around. Um, so I pull my food out for today and put it in this sack. And then beside that, kind of below that, I have my bear bag here, which is a... Uh, it's about eight liters. I think it's going to carry most of my food. So uh, this is my big bag. I'm going to hang this. This is for my three or four days of food. And uh, this, this is for my food for today. So I'm going to keep that separate, make it a little bit easier to access. Uh, this is my bathing bag. I'm going to use this to camp. Just uh, a uh, little, uh, I'll just show you here. So I got a washcloth. I got a camp towel. I got some Dr. Bronner soap. And then I have this little. Water sack. Uh, I got it from uh, from Amazon. It's a Lux stone, but it's just one of the cheapo made in China. But it's really light. It has a couple handles. I can put about three liters of water in this and uh, carry it back to camp. Wash off with it. Carry it out. Dig my dig my hole uh, for my gray water. Dump it out. Um, some of this stuff's probably gonna leave my pack before I get to the to wherever I'm gonna end up. But uh, Right now, I want to enjoy myself, which is why I have a pound of um, luxury battery bank and headphones and all that. And that's also why I've got my little bath tub here. A lot of people are telling me, just take a bath when I go into town. But I want to save some money by not going to town all the time to get cleaned up. And for right now, I'm just going to wash off every night at camp. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And this is my camp clothing. So I'm going to swap out at the end of the day after I clean off or if I'm too tired just when I get to camp. Um, I have a icebreaker t-shirt here. This thing is awesome. It's a little big. I got a 2X just because uh, I want it to be big and floppy, and it really fits pretty big on me, but it's, it's not too loose. And this thing just doesn't smell. 
uh, whenever I forgot my lighter on my section hike a couple days ago, um, didn't bathe, I just wiped off the baby wipes that wore this thing uh, three days and it really didn't stink, so it's pretty awesome. Um, I've also got a pair of merino wool underwear, just the icebreaker boxers. Again, doesn't stink, it's nice. It smell like you're clean when you're not. Uh, lastly, I've got a base layer bottom here. This is cold proof, this is from Amazon. These things are nice and toasty, they're merino as well. Um, might carry those the whole way. I might swap them out when I get to Virginia and it warms up a little bit, but this is my base layer bottom. Um, thinking I'm gonna take those all the way as well as my base layer top, don't have it in here, but I've just got a, like a Russell brand from Walmart. Uh, I've also got a 32 degree, I'm trying to decide which one I wanna take. I've got a backup pair of underwear here. These may or may not go, they're RBX Reeboks. I got them uh, on discount. They're synthetic. The problem with synthetic is that they stink up after a couple days. Uh, I've got a really lightweight pair of rain pants here. These things are so light, I have no idea where they came from. Some hand-me-downs, or I got them from a, a yard sale or a Goodwill or something. Definitely didn't buy them new. Super light though. I'm um, starting out at Springer with these over top of my base layer and a pair of shorts. And lastly, I got three pairs of socks here. I've got a pair of Farm Defeat and two pairs of Smart Wool. I tried the darn tufts, but they were too darn tight for my uh, big wide hobbit feet. All right. Got a big neoprene canteen. This thing is massive. I want to say it's like 100 ounces. Um, this is for camp. Just for getting my water to do all this crazy clothes washing and, and bathing and whatnot. Um, but it's Nalgene, approximately 96 ounces. It's about 100 if you fill it all the way up. It's really tough and durable. And uh, it makes it a little easier than filling up my Sawyer water bottles. So um, that's it here. Let's go to the bottom of the pack. I'm just going to open up my sleeping bag access here. So before I get to the sleeping bag, I got a Cool Max Sea to Summit um, liner. So this is uh, Cool Max. It's not silk. So it feels kind of like a, a soft t-shirt or a sheet. Um, but it goes inside the sleeping bag, keep it clean. Uh, it adds about, seems like it adds about five or 10 degrees of warmth. Um, and it's kind of nice to have a, to have a sheet feeling in between you and the sleeping bag. But um, I've got this guy. And then I've got a Static V Climate Sleeping Pad. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and rip everything out here so you can check it out. This thing is awesome. It's not the insulated version. I've been camping um, temperatures around 15 to 10 degrees, and I'd be a little more comfortable with an insulated pad, but this is what I'm starting out with. This guy folds up super small, about the size of a, a little Nalgene. And we got over 20 inches width here, and when you inflate it, it has ridges that kind of hold you in place. It's called the static V because of the V shape. Um, it's a little noisy when you're moving around, but I don't really care about noise. It's super comfortable and um, Got a, uh, uh, a Cabinet shelf liner that I can put underneath it to keep it from moving around um, lastly I Just swapped out my bag about a week ago um, And I went with this mountain hardware um, It's only a 34 degree bag. It's a lamina Z, but uh I had the 20 degree Wiggies, which is really about a 30 degree bag. And uh, this thing is just as comfortable. It's a mummy shape. Uh, it's got a little pocket here where I can keep my phone if it does get cold to kind of keep everything warm. Um, it's got a really comfortable hood. And uh, again, it's a mummy shape. And it's got a couple little uh, loops on the back that I can strap my pad in. Just one here, one here, and one here. Uh, if I wanted to use some cordage to strap my pad in place, but I haven't really had a problem with everything moving around. And since I switched to the mummy shape, uh, I don't really move around a lot. Just kind of sleep in one position. So um, that's it. That's my whole loadout. Let me get. Let me know what you guys think. Um, just uh, if you have any recommendations or comments, just leave them in the comments below. And uh, look for more videos to come. Thanks.